YouTube, we are finally here in San Francisco. I'm about to hop on this train right now, head to the rental car place, and meet up with a couple of my friends. So the past couple trips I've been on, at least the ones that I've recorded on my YouTube channel, have all been like work-related trips. So this is the very first trip I've gone on in probably like, 10 or 12 months that's actually a vacation. So I'm super pumped and we're gonna be doing a ton of photography this week. So I just landed here in San Francisco but we're only gonna be here for like the next 24 hours or so. We're actually jumping in a rental car right now, driving to the hotel, we're gonna shoot around the city for the day and then tomorrow morning super early we're actually driving out to Yosemite National Park which is our destination for the rest of the week. So we're gonna be doing a ton of landscape photography there and I am so pumped. Before we do any photography however, I really need to get some food in my stomach. So I'm gonna find Joey and find Tony. We're gonna to get in that rental car and we're going straight to a restaurant. Even though it's only like 10 a.m. right now, I've been traveling for like eight hours at this point. I woke up at 4 a.m., haven't eaten anything all day, and so I'm starving. Let's get some food. finished up eating lunch. I was so hungry that I completely forgot to get any footage of my dish, but it was super good. I had like this salmon quesadilla thing. We're right here on the water in San Francisco, so the food is super good right here. But I think we're gonna take a little bit of a walk around the city. I think I'm gonna shoot some film actually for my second film page. I'm just gonna get a couple solid pictures, walk around, and then actually tonight we're going to the Golden Gate Bridge. So I'm gonna get a lot of footage there, and I'm gonna try to get some solid sunset photos. So I think I'm gonna set the video camera down for the next couple of hours, and then I'll see you guys at the Golden Gate Bridge tonight. We've been walking around the city for a couple hours now and we've walked like eight or nine miles. But in San Francisco, it's not just eight or nine miles. The hills here are literally like this. So my legs are on fire. I'm exhausted, I'm sweating like crazy. My hair's messed up, but it's been good. I think we're gonna head over to the Golden Gate Bridge really soon. And the sun is looking like it's starting to come down. So I'm hoping for a solid sunset and we're gonna get some solid photos over there. to the bridge sorry about this angle I'm trying to block all the wind with my body right now but I'm perched up I'll show you right here I'm perched up on this rock right now on a cliff basically pointing my camera straight at the Golden Gate Bridge I have it in portrait orientation I'll show you right here and I have my polarizer on so that I can take some of the glare out of the rocks in the foreground and I also have I believe a six stop ND filter which is allowing for me to get down to like half a second exposure, which is blurring out some of the water in the foreground. I think these shots are coming out pretty solid. I'll show you a couple of them right now. The one thing that's tough about taking a long exposure when you don't have a remote trigger is that you need to usually use like a two second timer on your camera, which is what I'm doing, so that there's no shake in the image. But when you're trying to time up the water so that a wave is coming in at the perfect time, I almost just got splashed by that wave right there. But when you're trying to time it up with the water, it's hard to catch it at the perfect time because you need to account for that two second timer as well. So I'm kind of trying to sit here and anticipate a wave coming in and then two seconds before I think it's gonna hit in the spot that I want it to hit, I'm hitting my shutter to see if I can time it up perfectly. And I think that some of these are coming out solid, but time will tell. I won't be able to tell until I put them into, into Lightroom on my iPad, we'll see. All right, we've been here for like a solid hour at this point. We're just kind of waiting for the sun to come down, waiting for the light to get a little bit better. Joey and Tony are camped out up here on top of this rock, and I think we're just gonna try to find a couple more compositions as the sun comes down. It's super nice outside. It's getting a little bit chillier out, so we put on our sweatshirts, but it's so nice out, really enjoying it. And I'll show you guys more photos as we get them. All right, the sun is coming down. It's starting to get colder and colder out here. I think I might have just gotten my best shot so far. I actually walked out into the water. 
back here and I got completely soaked. Check this out. I'm gonna show you my pants real quick. Completely soaked. My jeans are covered in water. Completely soaked, but 100% worth it. I think that shot is super solid and I'll show you a couple of them right now. What up YouTube, it's been exactly one week since I shot all that footage and made all those photos out in San Francisco. And I'm obviously back here, home, and I just wanted to talk about a couple things before I wrap the video up. So number one, I was super, super nervous about only being in San Francisco for less than like 24 hours. I think we were only there for like 18 hours or so. I was super nervous about it because I wasn't sure we were going to be able to get the photos that we wanted to get. And quite frankly, it would have been nice to spend a little bit more time there because there's so many awesome photos to make there. It's such a picturesque city, but I'm so happy with the photos that we got. This photo right here, for example, is 100% one of my bucket list shots, and I was so amped that we were able to get it in the short period of time that we were there. This photo is super funny for me, and I really like it a lot because it was just kind of an interesting photo to get. Tony and I were pretty much, we had our cameras on our tripods, and we were running back and forth, like you saw that clip of Tony, into the water, plopping our tripod down, getting the long exposure and then sprinting out before a wave crashed and got us. So one of the times that I did it, I think actually the time that I got this shot, I got completely soaked, my camera was completely soaked with salt water and I thought I broke my camera there for a couple minutes because I was standing in the water, a wave came crashing in, I was waiting for my one second long exposure to go and this wave basically came barreling in and just soaked me and my camera. I sprinted out of the water and thank God, the camera still it's been a week and it's completely fine so I don't think there's anything to worry about there but it's one of those photos that I'll just remember forever because of that early the next morning after taking those photos we got up and drove like five hours to Yosemite National Park where it must have been literally the busiest day of the year at Yosemite we sat in traffic for hours trying to get into the park and it was kind of brutal but as the days went on it cleared up quite a bit and I took a bunch of footage and a bunch of photos obviously while we were at the park and so I'm gonna make another separate video all about that but yeah this past week was an absolute blast I'm super happy to be home super happy to be able to make this video and I really hope you guys enjoyed it sorry about some of the audio issues there I didn't realize how windy it was when I was filming all that footage but some of the audio is a little bit crappy in there so I apologize for that but anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see some of my future content, some of the stuff from Yosemite in the next upcoming week or so, definitely hit that subscribe button. I'll be uploading very shortly hereafter with another video from Yosemite, and I'm super pumped about that. So thank you guys a ton for watching. I appreciate it big time, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.